How to debug a C program running on the Arduino Uno microcontroller. In this tutorial video, we will demonstrate the use of the MCU debugger function of TINA by debugging a C program running on the Arduino Uno microcontroller. We suppose that you have already downloaded and installed the Arduino IDE on your computer and have set up TINA for using Arduino. For more details, see the how to create an AND logic circuit using the Arduino Uno microcontroller video. Let's use the circuit on the screen controlled by a C program called Blink Without Delay. This program can be found in the Arduino setup folder. Create this circuit with TINA and upload the controlling C program similarly to the AND logic circuit video. Open TINA. The program changes the LED state that is lighting it up and off every 5 milliseconds. To reach the goal, it uses the millis Arduino function to count the milliseconds. Every 5 milliseconds, the program checks the current state of the LED, high or low, and toggles it. Let's analyze the essential part of the C code shown on the screen. Note that in order to accelerate the simulation, we have modified the value of the interval variable from 1000 to 5. This is a trick often used in the debugging phase for high-frequency devices in case of large delays. Later on, when everything works properly in simulation, you can set it back before uploading the code to the physical device. The program starts with previous millis equals zero and LED state equals low. First, when current millis reaches the value of interval, previous millis will take the value of current millis and LED state will be changed to the opposite logic value. Later on, the same happens when current millis minus previous millis reaches interval. Function digital write switches the LED according to the actual value of LED state. Press the TR button to start the simulation without the MCU debugger. Now you can watch the blinking LED and the voltage on its anode. To stop the simulation, press the TR button again. Let's see the details of operation with the help of the MCU debugger. Click the Analysis menu, then check Enable MCU Code Debugger. Now you can start the program with the debugger by pressing the TR button. Let's follow the program's operation with the debugger. Select Blink Without Delay.ino in the MCU IDE window. To place a breakpoint, click the previous millis equals current millis line, then click the toggle breakpoint button. Run the program by clicking the run button. The program will stop when it reaches the breakpoint. Move the cursor above current millis variable. By clicking current millis, the actual value of the variable is displayed. You can check the value of other variables the same way. Another more visual way to see the value of the variables is to add them to the watch list. Click the Watch List tab. Then click the Add Object button and enter the name of a variable. Click OK. The variable appears in the watch list. You can add more variables to the list. Click the Step button to execute the program's operation step by step. You can check how the values of variables are changing during the steps.
If you press the Run button again, the program will continue running until it reaches the breakpoint again. Also, you can see how the value of current millis changes by pressing the Run button again and again. This concludes our MCU debugger video tutorial on Arduino Uno. Stay tuned to our channel, youtube.com slash user slash Tina Design Suite for more video tutorials.